hey y'all, it is time for a spooky video. <laughs> okay y'all, this is something new that I am calling thrift a -ween because this is going to be a Halloween inspired video where I went thrifting and actually found some stuff. So I can't wait to get into these bags. I went to three different thrift stores for y'all. So there's lots of goodness. There's no Trader Joe's. That's just the bag they put it in. But we're going to take the bags, move them to the side like we always do and get on into the spooky goodness. Okay, first, I just wanted to show you these. These I got like this, the bare wood, and I decorated them, and this is what I did for this one. I don't know how well you can see all the details. Glitter glue on this part here, and I just did all kinds of cool things with my um, colored pencils and shading and stuff, and I just thought it was super, super cute, and I wanted to put it in my background for y'all. I also did this that you saw in a video where I said I wasn't sure I was going to be able to finish it. I did this with my colored pencils as well. It is so fun. I love the way it turned out. Now this part here that's kind of iridescent is a sharpie marker, but the rest of it is all done with shading and colored pencils. So I thought you guys would think those were cute. First, I went to Goodwill and I found this and I thought it would be super, super cute to go in the background for our Halloween videos and to maybe do some cute picturing and things with the dolls. It was only a dollar, so I couldn't resist it. I thought maybe I could put a tea light down in there. Who knows? I just thought it was really, really cute. This here that was in the background I got from Dollar Tree. It makes a lot of noise. It's cute though. Hey, <laughs> So I put that in the background for us because it's so cute. Now, honestly, I thought that all I was going to find was that and like a couple other things that aren't like doll related or haul related for us. And I was standing there in line and they have the stuff in the case and I wasn't really paying attention to that stuff usually, but there was a lady standing by and something caught my eye and this happened. Oh my goodness. I have wanted these. I love Wizard of Oz and as you can see it was ten dollars which is a little much but you know it's complete and these came on like doll stands that aren't Barbie doll stands they're like um you know bought ones from the store but they didn't really fit them very well and they were just kind of annoying to me so I put them to the side I'll probably use them on other dolls that are bigger but I just couldn't believe it like they have everything like the shoes all the stuff now him he is a little sticky because it's this weird, you know, this stuff that like falls apart. I don't know what this material is that they use, but I have an idea. I am going to, maybe I'll do a tutorial, but I'm not sure. I might just try it on my own and see how it goes. I'm going to wipe it down with a warm, wet rag with some Ajax to get the sticky away. And once that dries, I'm gonna try and put my Mod Podge over this to help save it, because I don't want it to get any worse. But I just, oh my God, I just love these. These are so cute and they really, really look like the characters from the movies. It's so cool and they're articulated. Look at that. So awesome. Knees articulated. Now the shoes keep wanting to fall off. I'm going to have to do something about that. Like maybe put some socks on him or something so that they don't do that anymore. But otherwise, that's so awesome and I'm so excited. Next we have this guy, the scarecrow. And he has his little diploma. I just put it there so I wouldn't lose it because it was falling all down in the bag and I didn't want it to get lost. Same thing articulation in the arms and in the knees so so cool now this one I can show you the tag that one I couldn't I mean I'm not even sure how that one comes off but see Wizard of Oz and what year are on these let's see huh no year maybe it's on the neck let's see 1975 on the body and 1996 on the head and it has the um you know extra joint in the middle there for movement this is just so awesome you guys like for me I've wanted these for a long time but just wasn't willing to pay what crazy markup prices that they were now this is 
bugging me a little just because I'm picky. So I'm probably going to put stuff some stuff under there so that the hat will retain better shape or something. But other than that, like these were part of somebody's collection. They said the lady at the counter was really, really sweet and nice and told me that somebody had donated a bunch of Wizard of Oz stuff. But these were really all I was interested in out of what they had left. They said somebody came in and bought most of the other stuff. But I was just lucky that they had these and I'm so happy. And last but definitely certainly not least is Glenda. Oh my goodness, she is so beautiful. Look at this face. Oh my God, I so love it. And the eyes being that like periwinkle blue with a touch of lavender, so, so pretty. Now she does have some like that there and her wand. I do have her wand, but it broke and I'm in the process of gluing it. So I didn't have that to show for the video and that I'm gonna have to glue because I don't want that to come off the rest of the way. But other than that, she is complete. She even has her shoes, which always fall off. And look, they never took the stuff off, the stuff holding her knees together, which she does have, oh, bend and snap knees. But that's preventing me from doing it. So we'll just leave that alone for right now. But look at this dress. Oh my God, it's so pink. I love, love, love it. I always wanted to be Glenda for Halloween and never was. I don't know why, because, you know, I could have asked to do it and done it, but I never was and I don't know why, but I'm going to do it even as an adult one of these days. We'll figure it out. Go to a Halloween party or something. But anyway, this is just so awesome and I am so excited for these. Look at the red hair. Like these are in like almost new condition outside of the few little things. They have everything with them. You know, no certificates or anything and no box, but I don't care about that. They have all the important things. I can't believe, I know some people would be like, oh, $10 is a lot, but when I've looked for them, even in played with condition, they were that much plus and shipping and all that other stuff you have to deal with and not being able to look at them. And these I got to look at and I knew that they were nice. Like this hair just needs like a wash because of the age and stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. It's beautiful. I love the strawberry blonde reddish hair. It's I'm such a sucker for that. I love it. Love it so much. And these are just beautiful. And I have the Dorothy. I don't know if it goes with this set because they've done multiple sets of these um, Wizard of Oz characters for um, Barbie, but I have those. The only one I'm missing is the Cowardly Lion and it wasn't there or I would have bought it just to let you know, but it was not there. So these are the ones I got and I'm super happy for these. So yay for the thrifting gods for Halloween, this thrift -o -ween. Next, I went to Salvation Army and I only got two things from there, but I wanted to share them with you anyway. Look at this. Isn't she cute? Now, I know that her one hand is broken, but I'm thinking up a way to fix that. She's way vintage. She has the old um, stickers on her. Now, she was $1.99 blue, which meant that she was half. Now, this says... 1960 something. I can't read the rest, but maybe y'all can and some other things. So I know it's old. And so I only paid a dollar for her because she was half. And I'm so super excited for her. She's so pretty and so cute. I know she needs a little bit of a clean and I need to fix that somehow, but I don't care. I think she's beautiful otherwise. And I think it's so cool that she's Alice from Alice in Wonderland. So I had to grab her. Next, I got this oh my goodness look at how cute i love bunnies for anybody who doesn't know i am a total bunnyaholic as well as a pinkaholic and a dollaholic and all those good things it also spins and plays music how cute is that oh my goodness there we go, I turned it off. I just wanted you guys to hear it. It is so cute to me. I love the little bunny reading. Look at the detail on this. Isn't it adorable? And it's not chipped or cracked that I can see hardly anywhere. It has one little thing on the toe there, but otherwise, you know, cause anything that's older, I think this is older. This was way worth a dollar because also it was a blue tag, $1.99. So I only paid a dollar for this. So it was two ten for both of these. And I just can't resist. These are so, so cute. I love things like this and I can't wait to put it on a shelf with all my other cute bunny collectibles. So yay. Next, I went to my favorite independently owned 
thrift store and I got some things. First, I got this bag for $3. I'm just gonna open it and show you what I got. First is this cute little mini. Now, I didn't buy the bag for her, but she helped swing me getting the bag because I don't like buying the bags unless there's more than one thing in it that I really would like to have. She was a not like, ooh, I want it, but when I saw she was in there, I went, okay, yeah, I'm gonna get it. So, she's really cute. She's one of the Thai ones. She needs a good clean. I'll probably throw her in a pillowcase and throw her in the wash so she can get clean and then she'll be all cute and ready for display. Next is this adorable Stitch. He's a little grubby and he has a little hole there, but nothing I can't fix. And I love Stitch. So this was another thing that helped me go yes to the bag. But the thing that I wanted it for is coming up next. But I had to grab it for Stitch too because he's just so cute. This is why I bought the bag. This cute Bratz baby. Oh my God, these are so cute to me. I cannot resist. Plus I saw that she was pretty much dressed. I think they had like a bottle or something. People that are more Bratzy than me would know that, but I do love them. I just don't know a lot about them. I think they're super, super cute. So I could tell she had her whole outfit. Yeah, that works. Um, I think it's, I know it says MGA on her back, but I couldn't tell for sure if it said 2004 or 2001. Sorry, you guys. But, you know, I just love the little chubby legs and the cute little bodies and the big heads. And she looks to have everything. Her little crown and the hair is in really nice condition as well. It just needs like, you know, like a tiny bit of like fixing because it's kind of must but like other than that I think this goes down more like that kind of thing and not up over the crown I'll have to look it up I'm sure I can find a picture of what she's supposed to look like other than this mark on her face and on her chin a little bit otherwise she's pretty much perfect as far as I can tell I don't think she had shoes but she's just so cute I love these faces Oh my God, they're so adorable. Her little pink pearly lips and her like hazily green eyes, super, super cute. And I love this hair color. It's super pretty. It's two-tone and it's really, really soft. And all it needs is a good clean and she'll be good to go. So $3 for this and the stitch and the mini, a way good deal as far as I'm concerned. And there was other things in the bag. I just wasn't concerned with those and those are gonna get redonated. So yay! Rats, baby. I went through their crafty section and found this in their clearance bin. Anytime it has a little red hash means it's half off. And I thought half, you know, 12 cents, 12 and a half cents for these really nice sequins. And there's a thousand of them. I just thought that was cool. I don't know exactly what I'm going to make with it, but I'll definitely come up with something. Next, they had this pinky peachy ribbon with the fluffy edge super super pretty you can't go wrong with 25 cents for this great big thing of ribbon and i'm always making stuff for the dolls so had to grab it also this glitter was in their half off bin so i paid 25 cents for this really nice glitter and my thought was i wanted to do kind of a spoiler but i wanted to do a tutorial and show you all again how to make the ruby slippers and I don't know if I'm gonna get around to it before Halloween, but I will definitely do it and let you guys see once again how I do it. And I got this glitter to do it with, so yay for that. I also picked up these jumbo ginger snaps, that's funny, and this bag of um, safety pins for 50 cents. I just thought I'm always doing crafty stuff. You never know when you're gonna need this stuff. And this big bag for 50 cents and this for 50 cents is a way good deal as far as I'm concerned. I also grabbed this really pretty peachy pinky lace. Let's see if I can get at it to show you what it looks like better. Hang on. There we go, I was able to find the end. See how pretty this is? Like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to make something out of this for the dolls. I'm such a weirdo with fabric. It was only a dollar though for this great big thing of fabric. And I thought, can't go wrong with that. I can make something spectacular out of this for the dollies. I also grabbed this bag for $3. I'm just gonna open it, show you what I got. First is this cute little puppy. It looks like a Dalmatian. It says Disney, so it's probably one of the Dalmatians. Super, super cute. Also this weird little pendant that looks like a cat. 
See, it has a little pin on the back. I thought I'd keep that just because I like weird, kitschy stuff. <laughs> there was also this adorable kitty. It says Gordon Frazier, 1986 and something else on the bottom there. I think it was probably supposed to be an ornament because of that thing on the top, but I just thought it was super cute. And it's kind of like the right size for the dolls if you look. So I'm gonna keep the kitty for my dollies. There was also this super cute little pony unicorn. My Little Pony, super, super cute. Don't know a lot about the newer ones. I know some about the older ones, but I just thought it was cute, so I thought I'd keep it. Definitely needs a clean, though. <laughs> now, the reason I grabbed the bag was for these two adorable fur skins. Look at these. It says fur skins right there on the shoe of the girl. I think it might on the boys, too. Yeah. And they're just adorable and they're flocked. These are really, really nice, really, really good quality. Super, super cute. And weirdly enough, there's another hat that matches this that was in the bag and another pair of the little shoes, which was down in there and another pair of the tights that this one is wearing. So I wonder if there was a third one and this is all that survived, I don't know. But that was also in the bag. But these are the main reason I bought that bag for $3. I just thought they were super, super cute. And I just had to grab them because I couldn't resist for three bucks, just too cute. Next, I grabbed this Hello Kitty pink, cute purse. I don't really carry purses that much. And it was only $5, which is kind of a lot, but it's brand new it's never been used and it says 30 years of Hello Kitty I thought that maybe I could just put some stuffing in it and put it on a shelf and keep it nice I don't know I might use it I might not it was just so cute I love the embroidery I love the big bow I love the pink and I loved that it was new and I just wanted it so I grabbed it <laughs> I also grabbed this because all of their Halloween-y stuff was half off and it was 50 cents to begin with, which meant it was a quarter. I thought it would be super cute for me to decorate for the dollies, maybe do a little tutorial with you guys. Um, maybe not this year, but maybe next year. Who knows? I'll just keep it in my stash, but I just had to grab it for a quarter. Next, I took a look through their little bin I told you that they have where they just have random clothing things thrown in. And there was this beautiful like cloak wrap whatever you want to call it it is made so well it is so nice and it was only 50 cents and I thought it could be good for a doll maybe with a little like you know careful like pinning or tucking of some sort that I could use it for a fashion doll or maybe if I ever get around to getting a fakey Blythe from AliExpress this would be really cute on it but I just couldn't resist I know how hard it is to sew things and this is sewn way too well to leave it there for only 50 cents so I had to grab it. I am so running out of room guys but I have more. I bought this adorable little cabbage patch dress. Now these came on, I think the talker cabbage patches, maybe the corn silk ones, but it was only a dollar. This is like real taffeta and velvet. Now the um, elastic has gone bungee, but I know how to fix that. It is a little dingy, but I also know how to fix that. And it's complete because they also had the bloomers. Now I had to pay an extra 50 cents for the bloomers, they were marked separate. I was gonna tell them, hey, this is a whole outfit, but I thought for $1.50, I'm not gonna be picky. Like I said, the elastic is the only thing that's wrong and it needs like a little oxy bath and it'll come right back and it's super easy to fix the elastic here. Now in the legs and in the arms, it's a little harder because they don't have a channel, but I can still do it because I've done it a million times before and it's not hard. So I got this beautiful ensemble for a buck fifty. can't beat it. Okay, I have two more things to show you and they are both big wows and they are definitely not gonna fit. So I'm just gonna have to show you this way. I got this skipper case. Now it is not perfect by any means. It has a few little tear marks um, and it's dirty, but I know that I can use that glue I was telling you about, that vinyl plastic glue from Loctite and glue this back together and I know a little soap and water will take the dingy away I have definitely seen way worse cases. The inside is not too bad either. And it still has the little cardboard things and it had these in it, which I love, 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 love stuff like this. This is ripped, but I think the other piece is in there. Like what's the wonderful world of Dawn? Why is there always Dawn stuff these days? I've saw a couple other um, people haul things that had Dawn stuff in them. But there's this 
piece. And I think, I think, yeah, this was probably like a whole thing and it just got ripped. Look at this. This is hilarious. Dawn's sofa phone. Dawn's fashion world. I love the vintage stuff. Even though I'm not really into Dawn as much, um, it's still cool to me. I love seeing this kind of thing from the old days. <laughs> super, super cool. And then this could be like completely obliterated and it's not really, it's really not that bad. I mean, it's bent a little, but it could be a lot, lot worse for sure, for sure. I found more pieces looking down inside. Dawn's beauty parlor, Dawn's car, so adorable. And then there was this, ballet company presents Nutcracker Suite, Clara as Skipper, music by Tchaikovsky. So super cute. Here's the rest of the inside of the case. Now this being like this is actually better because I can get a better glue going on on it. So I can just put the glue there on those sides and then hold it down real good and it'll probably come up pretty nice. So I'm excited for that to clean this up and have it in my collection. It is so cute. Just, just having the artwork on the outside alone is enough for me. That's the kind of collector I am. I just love this kitschy, older, like adorable artwork. Look at this. Isn't it cute? Now last, but certainly not least, I got this cutie. Oh my goodness. They had so many porcelain dolls and beautiful dolls that I wanted, but I had to restrain myself and I only got her. She is so cute, guys. Like, at least to me anyway. I love her little face. She has so many details. Look at these earrings. The eyes, the porcelain is super soft. I'm feeling it right now like I felt it. And she is all body porcelain, guys. Look at her little tummy. Isn't it cute? Oh, and she has heart there. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Look at her little belly, her little chubby legs. The chubby legs are what did it. Like the face and the chubby legs, I could not resist. This doll is exquisite. Look at this outfit. Look at it. It's just beautiful and it looks brand new. And I paid ten dollars for this doll guys like you cannot there's no way this doll had to at least be 50 minimum to 100 when it was new it's all jointed well not all jointed but it does have like arm movement and neck movement now at her neck it says colleen apple white and i looked it up and she's called buttons and bows or something like that now she's missing Look at her little chubby knees. She is missing a little like bunny rabbit. But other than that, and you know, of course her box, she is complete. And like I said, she's exquisite. Her porcelain is so soft. Like it just really is. Her wig, this wig hair has got to be some of the softest wig hair I've ever felt, even in these curls, which it can be really, really stiff in the curly parts. She's just beautiful. I can't get over her. And now I do have, and I will have in the future, just not right now, um, more porcelain dolls and other types of dolls that aren't just fashion dolls to show you guys that I have thrifted. I just wanted to kind of put them in their own video, so I haven't done it yet because there's been so many things going on in the world and in my life and everything. But anyway, she is absolutely adorable and I just had to grab her. I was resisting so much. I didn't want to buy a lot of big dolls because, you know, space and all that stuff. But she was just, I couldn't resist. I just could not resist her. She was so cute. I took one look at her face and I went, oh my God, I have to have her. So I bought her and I know some of you guys will appreciate it. Some of you guys will be like, meh, but you know, like I said, I'm a doll collector at heart. I love dolls. I've loved dolls since I was a little girl, since I was about seven years old. So this made me super happy and I just had to grab her. I tried to fit her in. Well, this is all for my thrift a ween haul for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being with me and watching. I love sharing with you all. Mini spoiler, I am going to be clearing this away and filming yet another video for you guys for Halloween. So yay for that. So look forward to that. I'm going to try and get them both out on Halloween day for you guys. So hopefully I will. And yay. I have to say, oh my goodness. Great, big, huge, huge, 
huge subscriber love to all you wonderful subscribers, all you new subscribers, all my old subscribers, everybody. I love you guys. You guys are the best. You truly are. I can't thank you enough for all the great things, all the likes, all the comments, just watching the videos and coming along this crazy dolly Barbie YouTube family journey with me. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. Love you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, totally what are you waiting for? Oh my goodness. I do everything dolly related here. Craziness, smalls, dolls, porcelain dolls, anything you can think of in the doll world. I'm going to try it or do it here because I just love dolls. I do this for the love of dolls and for the love of y'all because I know that y'all have collector hearts just like me, which is great. So thank you for coming along this journey and joining our great big dolly Barbie YouTube family because as you know, everyone is always welcome here. Well, y'all, that's all for this thrift -o -ween. Maybe we'll have another one next year. Happy Halloween and that's all so you know what I'm gonna say. Bye y'all!